dear students in this session we will discuss harold domer growth model ഹാരോഡ് ഡോമർ ഗ്രോത്ത് മോഡൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോൺ ടു യു ദാറ്റ് ക്ലാസിക്കൽ ഇക്കണോമിക്സ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിങ് കാൾ മാർക്സ് വാസ് കൺസേൺഡ് വിത്ത് ദ ഇഷ്യൂസ് ഓഫ് growth and development the name of adam smith's book itself is an inquiry into the nature and the causes of wealth of nations so even though classical economists including marx was concerned with the, the problems of growth and development for uh, nearly 60 years after the death of karl marx in 1883 60 years after the death of karl marx in 18 83 growth and development theory le dormant or growth and development did not receive much attention of economists for 60 years after the death of karl marx this is because after the death of karl marx that is after 1883 economic theory was dominated by neo classical economic theory was dominated by neo classical value theory under the influence of alfred marshall's marshall's principles of economics published in 1890 economics was dominated by the static neo classical value theory influenced by alfred marshall's principles of economics published in 1890 marshall considered growth and development as natural phenomena growth and development as natural phenomena an evolutionary process an evolutionary process akin to similar to biological development in the natural world so according to marshall growth and development is a natural phenomena as such there is no need to give any special attention to growth and development and modern growth theory as we see it today started with a paper published in 1939 modern growth theory started with the book written by or the paper by harold in 18 sorry in 1939 the name of the paper was an as an 
an essay in dynamic theory an essay in dynamic theory an essay in dynamic theory published in 1939 so modern growth theory started with the publication of an essay in dynamic theory by harrods in 1939 and this essay resulted in the development of what is known as harrod domer growth model it is known as harrod domer growth model because the results derived by harrod in his essay an essay in dynamic theory was independently discovered by domer the american economist in 1947 the same results were independently discovered by domer in 1979 so the name harrod domer growth model so modern growth theory started with the publication of an essay in dynamic theory by harrod in 1939 so we first discuss the harrod model we first discuss the harrod model now Harrod's original model is a dynamic extension of Keynesian static equilibrium analysis. It is a dynamic extension of Keynes static equilibrium analysis. And as it is known to you in Keynes general theory condition for a equilibrium is that is equilibrium level of income and output is determined by equality between plan to save and plan to invest an economy attain equilibrium if plans to save is equal to plans to invest plans to save is equal to plans to invest or aggregate output or aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand or actual expenditure is equal to desired expenditure all these terminologies are known to you from your basic course in macroeconomics now the question that harrod asked is if a change in income induces investment if change in income induces investment what must be the rate of growth of income what must be the rate of growth of income delta y by y if change in income induces investment what must be the rate of growth of income for a plans to save equal to plans to invest plans to save equal to plans to in invest in order to ensure a moving equilibrium in a growing economy over time if change in income induces investment what should be the rate of growth of income to ensure equality between plans to save and plans to invest to ensure a moving equilibrium in a growing economy through time it is known to us that all the economies are growing so income is growing so in a growing economy unlike a, a static economy as we have discussed in the keynesian equilibrium analysis in a growing economy which rate of growth ensures that saving investment equality is maintained 
through time. Saving, that is, what should be the rate of growth to ensure that the rate of growth is consistent with the equilibrium between plans to save and plans to invest. This is the fundamental question asked by Harold. Now, also, is there any guarantee that is there any guarantee that this required rate of growth this required growth of rates will prevail is there any guarantee that suppose that a moving equilibrium that is a growth an economy experiencing growth with the equality between plans to save is equal to plans to invest is 5 percent that is if the growth rate of income is 5 percent saving investment equality is guaranteed in a moving economy the question is can we expect that this 5 percent growth will prevail if not what will happen if not what will happen if this required growth rate is not attained, what will happen? We know that in the static Keynesian theory, if uh, equality between saving and investment is disturbed, economy correct itself through what is known as multiplier process, something which is familiar to you. If uh, there is a suddenly, if there is an increase in investment, equality between saving and investment will be violated, then through multiplier process income will increase until equilibrium is restored. That is what we have discussed in macroeconomics in detail. So in the Keynesian model, saving in investment equality is restored by multiplier process. But now, if a growth equilibrium is disturbed, growth equilibrium, we are now talking about growth equilibrium, that is the rate of growth of income which ensures equality between saving and investment over time. Now if this growth equilibrium is disturbed, the question is, will it be self-correcting? or self-aggravating. If uh, there is a disturbance to growth equilibrium, what will happen over time? Whether this disequilibrium will be corrected over time or whether this disequilibrium will aggravate over time. Also, will this moving equilibrium is the maximum rate at which an economy can grow. Suppose that 5 percent is the equilibrium growth rate of income ensuring equality between saving and investment. The question is, is this the maximum rate of growth the economy can sustain or is this growth rate something less than the maximum growth rate that is attainable. And if uh, this growth rate is, equilibrium growth rate is less than what is attainable, then what will happen? Can we expect that growth rate will increase over time until the maximum growth rate is attained? or whether this growth rate will remain throughout at less than what is attainable, what is, what is the attainable growth rate. And uh, these are the fundamental questions that Harrod tried to investigate. These are the fundamental questions that Harrod tried to investigate. That is, Harrod's analysis is nothing but a dynamic extension of the static 
equilibrium analysis of Keynes, which lay down the condition for equilibrium growth at a point in time in a static economy. Whereas Harrod's model investigates the equilibrium condition, equilibrium growth rate in a growing economy and uh, what is this equilibrium growth rate to ensure that plans to save is always equal to plans to invest. It also examines what will happen, what will happen if uh, this equilibrium condition is violated. It also examines whether this equilibrium growth rate is the maximum growth rate that an economy can attain. And uh, if it is less than what an economy can attain, what will happen over time? Whether the growth rate will increase or decrease or whether it will always remain at less than attainable growth. These are some of the issues raised by Harrod. And uh, Harrod's place in the history of economic thought is ensured from the insights with which he provided answers to these questions. So Harrod's place in the history of economic thought is ensured from the fact that or from the uh, from the uh, fact that he has provided answers to these questions in a very insightful manner. So in the subsequent classes he will, we will consider uh, Harrod's answers to these questions beginning with uh, the assumptions on which Harrod model is based.